Welcome to Start Venture. This is a new series I am starting, Solve for X. I will take some of the tough problems in the competitive exam. Let's solve today this equation. It's 4 power x minus 3 into 2 power x equal to 4. Let us take the given equation. So, if you see this equation, you think that it is a uh, uh, little bit, we need to take logarithmic on the both sides and we need to find for x, something like that you think, right? So, without that, we can be solved very easily this. Just write 4 power x as a 2 power 2 and whole power x. Now, this can be rewritten as a 2 power x into whole square. So, that's almost just like, right? So, 2 power m whole power n is equal to 2 power mn, okay? That can be swapped, okay? So, it will again be written 2 power x and whole square. Now, let's take 2 power x as some another variable, okay? Let's take k. Now, what will happen? 2 power x will become like k. It will become like k square minus 3 into k minus 4 equal to 0. Now, we got a quadratic equation to solve it. How simple it is, you see. Just change, taking 2 power x is equal to k is like another variable. We got some quadratic equation. So, you know to solve the quadratic equation, right? So, there are the methods to solve by using the formula method or factorization method. So, now I will solve this one by using the factorization method. So, the middle term can be split to like minus 4k and plus 4k so that it won't change like minus 3k here. And if you take the common from the first is a k, then we'll get k minus 4. And if it is again one more term is k minus 4 is there here. Again, if you take k minus 4 common from these two terms, you will get like k plus 1 into k minus 4, right? So, k minus 4 is equal to 0 or it is a k plus 1 is equal to 0. Or both can be 0. So, that's how, right? So, we need to read this statement. Any multiplication we need to write like this, okay? So, let's take the k now. By equating these two equations to 0, we'll get k, k as 4 or minus 1. If you take minus 1, see if it, yeah, so what is the k? k is 2, 2 power x, right? So, 2 power x is equal to, if it is minus 1, it is not, not possible at all with all real numbers, okay? Why? Because 2 power anything, okay, it's never be minus 1, okay? It's always positive. 2 power 0 is also 1, right? So, what are the value we have the power side, right? It is always we get the positive number. We never get the negative number. So, k definitely is not equal to 1 in this scenario. So, let's take k is equal to 4. So, 2 power x is equal to 4 now, right? So, 2 power x is equal to, can write less 2 square, right? So, the both bases are same here. Then the powers also will be the same. So, here x is equal to 2. Now, we got the x value as a 2, okay? Let's check from the equation whether it's satisfied or not, okay? So, this is the, what the given equation, right? Let's substitute x is equal to here. So, it will become like 4 square minus 3 into 2 square equal to 4. So, then 4 square is the 16. Three, 2 square is the 4. So, 3 into 4, okay? So, 16 minus 4 into 3, 12 is also 4, okay? So, 4 equal to 4. Equation gets satisfied, okay? Now, for the given equation solution is x is equal to 2. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. You will see like this more interesting videos.